just going to talk a little bit about sewing machine needles. The biggest, um, I, the general consensus is with sewing machine needles, you want to change your needle for every project. Um, and I always forget, so I'll be starting a project and then halfway through I've realized I haven't changed my needle. But um, it's, a, it's a good rule to try to remember. Um, there are some little uh, tools that you can do to, or you can find to kind of help you remember. This is almost like a little mouse pad sized, um, it's a little, um, I don't know what kind of fabric it is, but it's kind of like foam. And you, what you can do is if you're, because I, when I sew, I'll, I'll stop and start multiple projects. But what you can do is just stick your, um, if you're in between projects, you can just take your needle out and put it into the corresponding section. And that way you know that it's a good needle and you can use it when you come back to your original project. And I like this one. It looks like it hits all the, um, um, each type of needle. And then there's also something like this in the usual um, tomato format. And it's got different types of needles and you can just stick those in there. That's a good way to kind of remember to change your needles. Um, I have one friend who says she only uses universal needles and she never has a problem. But I have found that I, it, it helps so much better when you use the right needle with um, the right fabric. And so there are you know, needles for um, uh, jersey, leather, um, jeans, uh, Microtex is, is used for um, silks and shears and you know more delicate fabrics. There's also um, stretch needles. Uh, the, the difference between the jersey and the stretch needles is the stretch needles are, us are for um, like spandex and swimwear knits and the jerseys are more for you know, general knits, um, as well as uh, some sweater knits. And the difference is, is that the scarf is different on the stretch, so it's a little smaller than the one on the jersey. And, you know, you would think that it wouldn't be much difference, but when, especially when you're working with knits, you really want to make sure you have these um, uh, special needles because it will keep the, the seam strong and you'll have a nicer stitch and that also goes for um, Microtex because um, when you're working with silks especially and chiffons, you want to make sure you have a super sharp needle so that it goes in and out really smoothly and it doesn't distort the fibers of the fabric. And um, you'll also, if you're using, it's interesting when you're working with silks, if you're using a, a, either a dull needle or one that isn't suited for silks, you'll actually hear like a, a sticking noise as you're sewing along. And what it's doing is it's just pulling those fibers um, and distorting them and you'll, you'll see it's just not pretty and, and actually it's, the silk can actually snag. And so you don't want that. So um, I think it's really important to use the right needle um, with the corresponding fabric when you're sewing. Um, the other thing is that there's um, lots of handy guides online, because I know sometimes it's, it's hard to remember all this, but they'll have all the needles and what they do and the sizes, which is very handy. Um, and the other thing um, has, shows your, what the needle, all the points of a needle, the tip is obviously really important. And those will vary from, you know, needle to needle. Uh, and um, the leather needle, I don't have one, but it's similar kind of to a denim where it's a little thicker and to penetrate, um, you know, those thicker types of fabrics and materials. Um, so the big, the big, I think, tip is to change your needle, um, find a way to make it to where you remember and um, either using a little tool like this to 
um, keep your needles separate and then you can reuse them and you don't need to just throw them away if they're if you've only you know in between projects or whatever and um, your sewing will improve your seams will be definitely stronger if you're using the right needle and um, it'll make for a nice seam finish too.